Hello everyone and welcome to this quick start guide for your Kadas development board. This video will show you how to quickly get up and running with your Kadas SPC once you receive it. Before you get started, you'll need several items. Of course, the first one, you'll need a Kadas SBC. You'll also need a suitable USB-A to C power cable. In this case, it's a black Kadas cable as shown here. A HDMI cable that's also attached to a external HDMI monitor, be it 1080p or 4K, it doesn't matter. And if you do not have Wi-Fi at home, you'll need an Ethernet cable that connects to your router for network access. And of course, finally, most importantly, you'll need a USB keyboard and mouse as illustrated here with this USB uh, connector. So in this case, uh, the board feature here is the Vim1. So the Vim1's power requirements are quite uh, low and any 5 volt 2 ampere power adapter is sufficient to power your Vim1. Vim2 as well is about the same. However, the Vim3 does require a more powerful adapter, which I will show you here. So this adapter is a 24 watt USB-C power adapter with USB-C power delivery and it also uses a USB-C to C cable as shown here on the right hand side. So as you can see here, there are three boards, Edge, HV and the Captain and these three boards all require the more powerful 24 watt USB C to C adapter. So if you go to Kata shop and look at the different cables and power adapters, this black color USB-C to USB-A 2.0 cable is suitable for Vim 1 and Vim 2. Similarly, the 10 watt power adapter is also suitable for Vim 1 and Vim 2. Users of the Vim 3 or 3L, Edge, V, Edge and Captain will opt for the USB-C to C cable over here in white color as well as the 24 watt USB-C adapter also in white color, okay? Some light users of VIN3 or VIN3L may realize that the 10 watt power adapter, which is black in color, is sufficient. However, we notice that for people who want to overclock their VIN3, they will have to switch instead to the 24 watt power adapter. If you are a user of a Captain board, you will notice that the Captain has a 12 volt barrel plug adapter over here. And if you're interested to use that as a power source, we do sell a 24 watt black color barrel plug power adapter as well for your Captain board. So anyway, this video will just cover the basics of what we have to do to get up and running. So without further ado, I'll show you. I have a Vim 1 board over here, okay? And I have a black color USB-C to a cable over here. So first things first, we'll need to get the power connected. So I'm gonna take the power adapter and plug it in. Okay, so I have the black color USB-C cable over here and it's attached to the 10 watt power adapter. All right, so I'm just gonna put it down first and I'm gonna get the HDMI cable. Show you that I also have a HDMI cable over here. All right. And finally, I do have two dongles, uh, one for a USB keyboard and one for a USB mouse. In my case, I do have a Wi-Fi network, so I don't need an Ethernet cable. Okay, welcome back. I've got everything sorted out and now uh, my Vim 1 is unpowered. So what we're going to do is that we're going to plug in the power and I'll show you the Vim 1 booting up. So over here we just plug in the power. Now Vim 1 will start to boot up. Okay, and there we are, that's the Linux login screen. So since we have a USB keyboard, you just type in the password Kadas. And there you go, it's a fully running Linux operating system and you can even connect to Wi-Fi over here, okay? So as many of you know, when you first receive a Kadas SBC, 
the system that is installed is actually Android. So if you want to use Linux, uh, how would you go about doing it? Okay, welcome back to my desktop. And over here, you'll see a software called KRescue. So KRescue is a custom installer for Kada's development boards that helps you to install any operating system that you want, right? And it runs from an SD card. So all you need to do is download the correct version for your Kada's development board, boot up from the SD card, and then you can use it to install any operating system that you want. So here's the instructions on Kadas Docs. I'll leave the URL in the video description. And just follow the steps over here to boot Kirescue. Okay. When you download a specific image for your device, for example, Vim1, Vim2, Vim3, Vim3L, Edge, and HV, right, you can actually burn it to an SD card using a software called Balena Etcher for Windows. And Linux, you can use DD. Uh, Mac also supports Balena Etcher. So over here, I have an SD card, and uh, this SD card already has KRescue burned into it. So all you need to do is slot it into the back of your Vim SPC. And all you need to do is triple press the uh, third key on the top. Just press this three times. Okay, what's happening is that the board is resetting. All right, and after the board has reset, and since we have inserted the KeyRescue SD card, it boots automatically into KeyRescue. So in this mode, you just need to use your um, USB keyboard to navigate the menus. And the first place you want to go if you do not have an Ethernet cable is to the Network tab. And make sure that your Wi-Fi is on. Press Wi-Fi and you know connect to um, available network, for example, your home network. And to check the connection status, you just press on Network Status. And you can see here that my Vim1 has properly associated with my home Wi-Fi network uh, on KRescue. Okay. Then to select any operating system that you want to install, choose Image Write to EMMC. Then press on Downloads. And if you want to filter out all the incompatible OSs, just press Vim1 only. Or in your case, if you're using a Vim3, it will be Vim3. Or if you're using an Edge, it will be Edge. Okay, so over here you see LibreLag, Android, Laka, Manjaro, uh, Coelac, Debian, Ubuntu, Coelac, and uh, Volumio, which is the audio software. Uh, if you're more concerned with stability, I would recommend using the 4.9 kernel, as you can see over here. The other kernels, 5.9, 5.12, uh, mainline kernels are not stable, but if you want the latest features, you can try them out. But for the best stability, uh, do use the 4.9 kernel over here, okay? So all you need to do if, let's say, you're interested in some uh, Linux distribution like, uh, let's see, Ubuntu GNOME Focal Linux 5.12, just press OK and download this image. After downloading, you'll be presented with the option to burn it to the eMMC. Do note that if you have something already present on your eMMC, this action will completely erase your previous operating system and replace it with this new image, which is downloaded via Wi-Fi or Ethernet uh, into your Vim or Kata's development board's eMMC, okay? So I won't demonstrate that because the downloading process uh, takes a very long time if your internet connection is quite slow, which in my case it is. Uh, if you want to know more about how to use KeyRescue, well, just refer to Kadas Docs and all the information on how to use KeyRescue to install a variety of different operating systems and how to back up uh, your eMMC are all available. Okay, for example here, image dump to the SD card 
allows you to actually clone uh, or like a, make a copy of your MMC uh, just in case you want to use it again next time in the future. So you can clone your MMC and then clone it back in uh, when you need to use it again in the future. So Kirescu is a very advanced uh, tool which we have uh, developed, uh, Kadas has developed and you can check out all its features um, by burning the image to an SD card and trying it out. Okay, so I hope this video uh, helps you understand the basics of how to get started, which power adapters you have to use, what cables you have to use for the different uh, Kadas development boards. But basically, this should be no different from any other development board out there. And um, yeah, you should be uh, going in, in less than 10 minutes. Alright, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.